No, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, everyone has their preferences, and that's not mine. I'm not watching sports, and I haven't watched sports in like five, six years now since they went woke. Bend in the knee. It's like, you know what? Ha well, you know what it means to bend the knee? It means that those you bend the knee to are superior than you, and you're admitting it. Oh, dude. That's what it means. Yep, to bend the knee to someone is to say you're superior than me. So when they bend the knee to the American flag, then the national anthem says America's better than me and all Americans are better than me. It's like, ah, thank you for being a cuck. But you do know you look weak when you bend the knee, right? Because Americans don't bend the knee, we die on our feet. That's what they're gonna have to do to me. They're gonna kill me. They have to do it to Joel, to what they did, they have to do to Joel, what they did, would do to you, just, just to get you to bend the knee by shooting your knees out. <laughs> shoot it's like, haha, I can't bend the knee if I don't have them. You shoot my fucking knees out, you better fucking finish me. I don't disgrace my American flag, I don't disgrace America. You're allowed to burn the American flag, that's fine. You bet you should be able to burn all flags, then. No matter what they are. So, hey, I didn't find the ugly ass uh, LGBTQ flag. You mean the rainbow flag? Yeah, you can burn it, but there's a lot of states consider that a hate crime, but not burning the American flag. I think it's all or none. Pick one. It's called equality. Either you treat them all the same, or you don't get to treat them that way at all. True equality. Just like if a woman punches you in the face, my mom said, deck her teeth out. <laughs> yeah, she just picked a fight she probably shouldn't have. No, I've seen my mom not cold cock a guy in one hit unconscious. It's like, then my mom's a black belt, so. Yeah. Well, the guy was, uh, my brother, ste my stepdad was pointing a gun at her kid, so of course she knocked his ass out of I was, was kind of hoping, hoping he would just shoot himself, himself first. <laughs> right here. This is it. But the cowardly chicken shit didn't. It. And then he had a stroke eating a cheeseburger and said, God. <laughs> yeah, but God was saying, get on a fucking diet, you fat ass, before you die. But no, no. He thinks he's the Messiah now. And now he's, and now he's a pastor. Here, help me push. Of a church. Not even joking. He actually is part of a church, and he's. No, One of those people. No. The same. Oh God. No, no, no. That's that's not what I'm laughing at. I'm laughing at the fucking party thing. God told you to go on a diet, you fucking piece of shit. No, the fucking fat ass get on a diet. No, God wasn't oh. talking to you because you ate a cheeseburger and had a stroke. No, God tells you to go fuck a diet before you die. Because yeah. you just had a stroke eating a cheeseburger, you moron. Would you like that? Oh God. Seriously, I had a stroke and God talked to me. You're a fat. This way. <laughs> Think there might be a quick way down over here. Yeah, only in America do we have fat poor people. No one in the, nowhere else in the world has fat poor people but America. That's how prosperous we are as a nation. Even the poor people are richer than the other poor people in the world. You see that? The fucking yeti just yeeted someone. <laughs> Jeez. Motherfuckers must be on steroids. Whoa. Fucking dead. Oh, well. Fucking dead body went flip, 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 land. Mm. Jesus Christ, they must be on fucking steroids. It's Abby if she has more hair. Get down! <laughs> <laughs> So mean. So mean. I don't give a crap if I offend someone. <gasps> I'm offended, they're offended. I guess they better start kissing my ass. <laughs> oh god! Damn it, I died. Well, I died laughing to that. Oh god, that was fucking funny. Yeah, seriously though, it's like, I'm offended. Well, I'm offended, you're offended. Now kiss my ass and apologize. Because that's such bullshit, the bull. Being offended for others is such the biggest load of shit I've ever heard. Oh god. Alright. 
I'm offended, I'm offended for other people, people, but you're not offended that they're removing black people's his uh, uh, legacies out of the out of brands. Oh, it's like ah, this moves the Indian out of land of its butter, but keep her land. Oh wait, they're coming where? They took out the Indian out of the land of its butter, but they kept the picture of the land in the background. Everyone's like ah, get rid of the Indian, but keep the land. Butter. Get rid of Mrs. Buttersworth, which was the first black Dude, woman that, that slave so who became very rich for that time period, which was Dude, a big deal back that, then. That was fucking dumb. Uncle, Uncle Ben's was, was just a peaceful, peaceful American-loving American farmer who was used as a brand because he said okay and they liked it, liked him. Yeah, yeah, get rid of his legacy too while we're at it. They're just getting rid of all the black people out of our and, and, and Native Americans and Hispanics out of our food products. But keeping the white ones just fine, like Mr. Clean. All right, it's all clear. Come on. All the all the people of color and minorities are racist to be in our products apparently. Oh God. Oh God. It, what? The it's the dumbest thing ever. Are they gonna take the bears out of Charmin because they're brown bears? Oh, for fuck's sake, they better not. It's a fucking toilet paper ad. If they We're getting close, I know it. Ad, I am Is my poop gonna, gonna be racist because it's brown sometimes? But sometimes? There's some doors up here. I need your help. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say. I have mine, Yoshi poop. Some, sometimes <laughs> mine's black, brown, and green. Go. Oh, oh, black I means you're bleeding. Uh, well, am I offending, uh, Idris people? Here it is, Elena. Secret because entrance I to Shambhala. Dude, I shit neon green, so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Neither do I. I mean, it's some bright ass green. Oh, oh, wait, Keep looking stop. around. There has to be a clue. Like, you know, the lime green? They're pretty sure much that bright. It's like, what the fuck it has to be? <laughs> We're missing something. I don't, I don't digest, digest vegetables, vegetables very well, apparently, anymore. <laughs> Or not. No, no gallbladder, ding ding. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot. God damn. Dude, That's why I can't, I, I can't have potatoes anymore. Or tomatoes. Anything that has to do with tomatoes because they're high acid content. Well, that type of acid from a tomato. And then the, t the potatoes just turn into sandpaper on the way through. Ew. Eesh. That seriously sound like it hurts. Oh, it does. You just sit there and with stomach pain as you can feel it moving down your small intestine. My god damn it, I know what's gonna say this. No, I just lay there and wait for it to pass because there's nothing I can do about it. But it feels like sandpaper going one inch per hour, so it takes a while. Ow. Just take a belt sander and put it on your stomach and hit power and you'll get the same feeling I get when I have just food. Like potatoes. Yeah, you'll probably, you'll probably lose three layers of skin really fast though. <laughs> the sandpaper challenge where you put your belt sander and put it on your face and press power. <laughs> there you go kids! Go do something stupid like remove your face. <laughs> Did you know Tim Pool's uh, word "florbo" is actually in the dictionary now? Is a real thing. Wait, seriously? Yep, it's a non non binary pronoun that means all genders and no genders at the same time. So you can say "florbo" so it doesn't offend anyone. Herba daggers always point down. It's a "florbo" is a real thing. It's like, yay, Tim Pool actually started a new word that's actually been around for a while now, and it's working. Man, Urban Dictionary is gonna have to clear out its whole website, though, because I think Urban Dictionary is like 99% hate speech by their own standards and rules. Oh, because God. Ain't Urban Dictionary was created for black slang? Just stay behind me. So, you have to remove all the words the black gun. people created? Do it! Wow, Urban Dictionary has gone really. It's gonna get really being called racist because it'll be destroying every black word. Oh, shit. <laughs> it was created by black people because the they people find that it's not a mistake I will make twice. Back off! Oh, pull the trigger. Like, ho. See how long you live. Bitch. Now, 
You will open the passage to Shambhala. And there's a lot of other words in there that they're gonna have to remove, and the black community is gonna get pissed that they're literally being claimants from America. I've read a book or two. Genghis Khan, Hitler, No, seriously, though. Well, how do black people feel they're being claimants from America and they're trying to reinstate segregation laws? Because they had the will to do what other mm. men would not. And not only that, Black Lives Matter has been killing more black people than the all the cops combined. Mercy defeats us. They're going now, for a record or something. You to test me still further, you will drop your weapons. Like the 22 dead children by Black Lives Matter. And there's a new one per fucking day. Black Lives Matter goes to protest right in the it and then shoot kids while they're out. So, you have tested my will. And they're all black. Now it is my turn to mm. test yours. Killing us won't get you any. Yay! No wonder why black yes. people hate Black Lives Matter. They're literally being targeted by them. You get nothing from me. Well, then oh, it appears God. we are at a stalemate. <clears throat> I feel Unless bad because Black Lives Matter was hijacked by sociopaths black. that want to kill black people. Bring her in. And remove them from America by saying they're fighting for black people. Get your hands. I don't know if that's ironic or no. very sad. One we will use as a lesson, and the other we will use as incentive to cooperate. You choose. This is bullshit, Nate. Yeah, don't play into his game. You want my help? You let them go. This is not a negotiation. Who would you sacrifice? Okay. And who Bang. would you save? But this one, you want to Wait, save? I didn't want to talk, so I blew his head off. Hmm? You know what, oh, enough God, of this shit. <laughs> All right, quit the theatrics. I'll do what you want. <laughs> you were supposed to aim for my head. I did. I just aimed for the small one. <laughs> yeah, that'll stop them from shooting somebody in a heartbeat. They'll be like, oh, and on the ground. <laughs> They'll be like, <laughs> like, mm. the guy was a little nutty, but now he's not. You, asswipe. Give me your lighter. You Don't worry, we'll replace your balls with clicker clackers. So every time you walk, it goes. <laughs> I wish. Now I know there's a movie where the guy's balls are replaced by two metal ball bearings. So when he walks, there's like, and when he stops, it goes. Like, it settles. God, I got that movie. I forget what it was, but when he talks, he goes, "You won't be laughing later." Because his voice is so high pitched, because his testosterone's gone. I believe a dog bites his nuts off. The, the dog bites the nut off at the beginning, and then towards the end of the movie, he bites off the other nut. I think it was a movie with a cop dog in it that the guy was trying to kill. Oh, God. Because he has revenge because of the dog took one of his nuts, so he tries to plan a revenge hit on a dog. Who takes his other nut? Can't, can't be spoilers because I think it's like 2000 movie that it's like come on we've had two years to watch it people I believe so I gotta call him out just look up dog and then do movie dog cop movie Bat villain loses nuts, and I'll probably have a name for it. I should not name it pop up because it's a very particular it. movie that only did that. And take him with you. Maybe this time it will get done right. Oh, I missed. Because I remember I was still a kid when it came out. Don't try anything clever. <laughs> so it's pretty freaking old. I oh, know that's a sad thing to say. <laughs> I was only six years old when the movie came out. If I you. <laughs> I, think I, I think I was thirteen. Oh god. Backstabbing son of a bitch. Yeah, well I learned from the best, didn't I? Get a move on. So it's older than two thousand than if it when I was thirteen. Yeah, big man with that gun, aren't you? Nineteen nineties when I was thirteen. Try to keep Somewhere up in the nineties. I'm keeping up, I'm letting you go first. Oh, that's, oh, that's cool, cool though. It's though. Punk, punk music, music is dead, dead now, now because, because punk, punk music says raise against, against the machine, machine but they're, they're now, now fighting, fighting for the machine. The machine. <laughs> oh god, punk music <laughs> is officially dead. Well, yeah, yeah punk, punk music, music is now, now you, know, you know, punk, punk music, music had rise, rise against the machine <laughs> song. Hold on. Yeah. Wait for me. I mean, no, well, no, now they're not, not rising against, against the machine. The they're for the, for the machine. machine. It's, it's like, like oh, there goes punk music. Give me a boost, buddy. Punk. 
But I mean, shit. There Mr. we go. Doc had Rise of the Machines. Uh, oh, look out! It's a stone little slide. song. Uh, yeah. uh, hey. On the newest album. Sorry. And that blocking your path. That. Glad you find this so but, funny. And I don't think oh, Nickelback is punk. Great. Well, it's more like rock or something. Oh, see. You Music is crap nowadays. Hey, What's up with him, He has yeah. some songs <laughs> based <laughs> off of, ahead of me. what's but going on around. Well, it is yeah. Now. His yeah, music, music is way, way better. Yeah. Free. I mean, Tim, you better not be leading me into a dead end. Like through here. No, Tim and Adam, though, they like their own music, so. Ha ha ha, YouTube can't copyright strike on based on some music because it's their music. Which they're selling. They're trying to make an album. Nothing like actual real journalists that can, though he's a skateboarder slash he does his own music. Help me move this. And he's a gamer. Huh. Other than skateboarding, it sounds like me. Just like the good old days, eh? He said when my music sucks, so. <laughs> it's harder to write a song than you think. It takes a year or so. Just for the words alone before you figure out the notes to go with it. Yeah. Now how did they get that cart there? Who cares, we just have to get up high. Oh, I think I'm gonna go off soon. No. Help me push this. What's the matter, Jimmy? I just wanna relax, watch some YouTube and go to bed. Come on, girly girl. There you go. Dude, I just feel I just did six hours of stuff for YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I guess when I'm done with this one episode, by the way, be sure to watch. Well, Joe Biden that like button, you know, get it behind it, grab it, and then start going, and then give it a little nibble like he does. It, and, oh God. <laughs> Why would you vote for a pedophile? It's like, Trump, Trump racist, it's like, apparently you didn't look into his past that Trump has helped the black and Hispanic community more than anyone. He's donated money, he's given up time, resources, he's even made new laws to help them when he became president, so they can have an easier time of it. I mean, what, what, I'm, I just want to know is, you If they actually did their research. What I really want to know is Trump has done 10 times more than Obama's done and all of that. Well, not Abraham. Right. Abraham well, I believe, I, I believe Trump, I believe Trump has the base is getting 35% more and bigger, so <laughs> it's growing. Whatever percentage was before, you have to add 35% more to it. Just wait here. And the base before was pretty damn big. Would you? Wait. What? Uh, Those symbols. I, know the I mean, symbols. Black Lives Matter wants yeah. communism now, yeah. apparently. Fascist communism? Hello? Hello? I had a minor interruption. Ah. Uh, so, what happened? That. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, homie. Uh, fire, fire, fire. Which one is fire? The money is done. Oh, geez, I hate doing these. <laughs> Nothing like having a march and then having it take over by crazy people. Yay for them, I guess. Man, I really don't want to traffic around here to become like Seattle traffic because everyone's moving from Seattle. <laughs> 2.6 million people coming this way. What am I gonna fucking do now? Traffic was- I hated Seattle traffic when I heard this was on her. Now the traffic's coming to me! And, and New York's also losing. Millions of people are moving out of New York. They're just bailing on these big cities. Well, yeah, I mean, when you abolish the fucking police, they're not gonna- What's the point? <laughs> I guess, I guess you can, you can get, get away, away with, with murder, murder though. though. In Canada though, someone drove on a rainbow crosswalk and left a tire streak for driving a car on a road and they found it as uh, hate 
hate speech and a hate crime, so they went to go look for the person driving a car on a road. Left a skid mark on a uh, rainbow crosswalk. What did you, they expect to happen when a car would use it drive over a crosswalk? It clean it? No, it leaves tire marks everywhere. Yeah, but it's not a fucking hate crime. It was a mistake. It is in Canada. My god, this moral authoritarian bullshit is gonna end up killing so many more people. Because guess, guess what? what? If they do, they do win, win, guess who's first, first to die? All the Democrats, <sighs> Nancy. Yep. yep. They'll, They'll put them right, them right up against the wall and pull the trigger first. Before they re-educate the ones that are problematic. Just like China does. With their re-education camps. If you don't succeed at re-education, they harvest your organs and kill you. That's China for you. Anyway, they still they have slavery, slavery in China, China too, too, so... so. I, guess, I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. People, people love, love China. Because they, they can get, get their, their cheap phones, phones that last, last only a year. year. My phone will last me a good ten more years because it's like fucking flip phone that's indestructible. Come on, make yourself useful. Damn Nokia phones. <laughs> Well, I mean, hey, that was good. Yeah, they made this thing to be bulletproof. I'm not even joking, they can stop a bullet twice. <laughs> They're pretty fucking sturdy little damn phone. So there's some big ass cell phones. I think they weigh, they're pretty damn heavy on their own. Oh crap! They weigh almost a pound. Oh, 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 no time to argue! Alright, here! Thank you! Oh, please, Don. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I don't want to stop the phone, I just want to stop I die and it throws me really oh, far back because I didn't save for a while. Like, well, I'm late. What the hell are those things? Because I'm wearing clothing, so I'm very, very fat, fragile. <laughs> what? Scarecrows. Guardians to frighten trespassers. Yeah? Well, it's bloody effective. Zarvich. Done what you asked. Let them go. Always bargaining. But you have played your last hand. And lost. <laughs> In Skyrim, Looks though, like I can summon, like, no, no, four no, no, no. Not creatures at one. one. I want him I to see that funny in videos. It's like, I summon two creatures, but I don't have knowing that I have taken it from And then I summon two more, it's like, wait, what? Open the gate! <laughs> I have an army! And I was thinking, oh, if I get Daedra's, I can summon four Daedra's. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was gonna put my next point, the, my next ability point, right into making them up to the same level as me, where they scale with me. It's like, oh, dear god, those guys are gonna slaughter all my enemies in front of me. Oh, crap. It's 
Simbala. Simbala. Conjuration is broken. In that Skyrim game. Well, mine really freaking broken. Hey guys, tell me, uh, what do you think about the fucking crazy ass Democrat? Always wanting to amuse You have that been a thorn in my side for far too long. Me. Every time they remove a statue, Trump your knees. puts up more, so. Well, hey, hey, uh, Zorin? Trump will just put them right back and then put up twice as many. Oh, right, so I suppose you know exactly how to I find mean, we're Stone gonna have a garden of heroes now. Which is gonna be probably pretty good size, but they're gonna have tons of famous statues of people who, who did great things for America. To move it along forward. Michael Luther King Jr. is gonna be in it. Uh, what is this? I believe Lance Armstrong will be in it. Fire your balls! Well, first and second, there are two guys lined up. But the first one to go out will become more famous. Run! Go! And they were first. Run to the bridge! Like, are you gonna tear down no statues? Because, you know, racism. I mean, they're tearing, tearing down statues of uh, abolitionists who got rid of slavery and try to get people to be decent people. Yeah, they're tearing down no statues too. It's like, wait, that makes no sense. They didn't own slaves, they fought to free them and make them. Well, how are you tearing down those statues too? Keep going! Keep going! I mean, they tore down a statue of an abolitionist black man. I mean, Black Lives Matter apparently doesn't give a fuck. They do know they're pu pulling down the Union statues, right? No, they don't know, because apparently I think she was a bimbo. Because George Washington wasn't Confederate. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. George Washington was not Confederate. He would have been on the Union side, if anything. Let's keep moving. Thomas Jefferson would have been on the Union side. Lincoln was the, the Union side, but they want to tear him down too. It's like you want to tear down the guy who freed the slaves. What? <laughs> They're like, oh, it's a Confederate statue. No, it's not. Mount Rushmore is not Confederate at all either. Actually, it's Union. I just don't know why they want to take down so many. They, if we forget our history, then we become whatever they want to tell us to become. Fucking dumb. Looks like someone else made it in here before us. We'll probably get back slavery because of them. People will be like, oh, it's okay to fix slaves back here. Hey, because they're going backwards. I mean, they're trying to segregate in California, so it's only a matter of time until people are put back into chains. Into the city, so if we can just make it back to the entrance, it should be clear by now. No, Chloe, we're going after the Chintamani stuff. I wonder well, if the black people are going to let that fly when they and see him exactly coming up with chains and going, oh, to stone we're going to pull back slavery now. It's like, whoa, whoa, the hell whoa, you are, and no grab their gun. That supernatural nonsense. I, I don't know what and to do. And Civil okay, War number two well, will be born, except for we'll definitely kill the Confederacy completely this time. He's fulfilling some sort of prophecy that the stone will somehow make him invincible. Immortal. <laughs> We're standing the left in the has middle of Shambhala, and you're questioning years. what's possible? Jesus. Yeah, you saw how many bullets they pumped into those things? The Something left strange is going on here. The more They're communists. Get out while we still can. Uh, Fascist just communists. trying to set things right. And maybe... Well, well, they practice the Marxism. What, what oh, Marxism God. is... <laughs> Which is communism. Listen, Sunshine. What I want to know is... The world? When... <laughs> Doesn't well, care. You stick your neck out. You are asking to lose your head. You said yourself you want to take this guy down. And yes, and I want to see him pay more are. than you do. But that's not how when it will end. Do. This, when is, this is how it will end. No, give up and not go somewhere time. else. Never. <clears throat> Come on. 
Because why stay here? Why what do you say? Why keep fucking people over? That you're crazy! Why can't I make a jump? America's the easiest place to gain power. power.